Hello guys, let's start with the video, setting and enforcing password and account expiration. In the previous video, we enforced strong password criteria. In this video, we're going to configure default expiry data for user add, set expiry data on a per account basis with user add, user mod, and ch age. Something you never want is to have unused user accounts remain active. There have been incidents where an administrator set up user accounts for temporary usage, such as for a conference, and then just forgot about them after the accounts were no longer needed. Another example would be if your company were to hire contract workers whose contract expires on a specific date. Allowing those accounts to remain active and accessible after the temporary employees leave the company would be a huge security problem. In cases like these, you want a way to ensure that temporary user accounts aren't forgotten about when they're no longer needed. If your employer subscribes to the conventional wisdom that users should change their passwords on a regular basis, then you'll also want to ensure that it gets done. Password expiration data and account expiration data are two different things. They can be set either separately or together. When someone's password expires, he or she can change it and everything will be all good. If somebody's account expires, only someone with the proper admin privileges can unlock it. To get started, take a look at the expiry data for your own account. Run this command. You can see here that no expiration data have been set. Everything here is set according to the out-of-the-box system default values. Other than the obvious items, here's a breakdown of what you see. Password inactive. If this were set to a positive number, I would have that many days to change an expired password before the system would lock out my account. Minimum number of days between password change. Because this is set to zero, I can change my password as often as I like. If it were set to a positive number, I would have to wait that number of days after changing my password before I could change it again. Maximum number of days between password change. This is set to the default value of 99999, meaning that my password will never expire. Then we have number of days warning before password expires. The default value is 7, but that's rather meaningless when the password is set to never expire. Before we look at how to change expiration data, let's first look at where the default settings are stored. We'll first look at the etc login.defs file. The three relevant lines are pass max days 99999, pass min days 0, and pass warn age 7. You can edit these values to fit your organization's needs. For example, changing pass max days to a value of 30 would cause all new user passwords from that point on to have a 30-day expiration data. Moving on to configuring default expiry data for user add for Red Hat or CentOS only. The etc default user add file has the rest of the default settings. In this case, we'll look at the file from the CentOS machine. Open the user add file. We get the error permission denied. So we move to the root and open the file again. The expire equal to line sets the default expiration date for new user accounts. By default, there is no default expiration date. Inactive equals 5 means that user accounts won't be automatically locked out after the user's passwords expire. If we set this to a positive number, then any new users will have that many days to change an expired password before the account gets locked. Now change the inactive value to minus 1 and save and quit. To see the new configuration, you can either open the user add file or just do sudo user add hyphen d. You've now set it so that any new user accounts that get created will have the same expiration date. You can do the same thing with either the inactive setting or the shell setting. First exit this, then go to the root directory. Enter these commands. This is the output we get. Now, any new user accounts that get created will have the ZSH shell set as the default shell and will have to have expired passwords changed within five days to prevent having the account automatically locked out. UserAd doesn't do any safety checks to ensure that the default shell that you've assigned is installed on the system. In our case, ZSH isn't installed but UserAd will still allow you to create accounts with ZSH as the default shell. So, just how useful is this UserAd configuration feature in real life? Probably not that much, unless you need to create a whole bunch of user accounts at once with the same settings. Even so, a savvy admin would just automate the process with a shell script, 
rather than messing around with this configuration file. Moving on to setting expiry data on a per account basis with user add and user mod. Setting password expiry data in login.defs is more useful because you'll just be saying that you want new passwords to expire within a certain number of days, rather than to have them all expire on a specific date. Most likely, you'll want to set account expiry data on a per account basis, depending on whether you know that the accounts will no longer be needed as of a specific date. Let's say that you want to create an account for Charlie that will expire at the end of 2020. On a Red Hat or CentOS machine, you could enter this command. Charlie already exists. On a non-Red Hat or CentOS machine, you'd have to add the option switches that create the home directory and assign the correct default shell. Use this command. Again, we get Charlie already exists. Use chh-l to verify what you've entered. Now let's say that Charlie's contract has been extended and you need to change his account expiration to the end of January 2021. You'll use user mod the same way on any Linux distro. Run this command. Again, verify that everything is correct with chh-l. You can see that the date has changed now. Cool. Optionally, you can set the number of days before an account with an expired password will get locked out. For that, enter this command. But if you were to do that now, you wouldn't see any difference in the chh-l output because we still haven't set an expiration date for Charlie's password. The next topic is setting expiry date on a per account basis with chh. You would only use chh to modify existing accounts and you would use it for setting either an account expiration or a password expiration. Here are the relevant option switches. You can set just one of these data items at a time or you can set all of them at once. In fact, to avoid frustrating you with a different demo for each individual item, let's set them all at once, except for the hyphen D0, and then we'll see what we've got. Run these commands. All expiration data have now been set. For our final example, let's say that you've just created a new account for Samson, and you want to force him to change his password the first time he logs in. There are two ways to do that. Either way, you would do it after you've set his password initially. We have this code. We don't have a user Samson, so create a user Samson. Then repeat the previous step. Now we will perform a hands-on lab for setting account and password expiry data. In this lab, you'll create a couple of new user accounts, set expiration data, and view the results. You can do this lab on either the CentOS or the Ubuntu virtual machine. Create a new user account for Samson with the expiration date of June 30th, 2023 and view the results. Samson already exists, so we will run the next command. Use user mod to change Samson's account expiration date to July 31st, 2023. Enter this command. Assign a password to Samson's account, then force him to change his password on his first login. Login as Samson. Change his password. It asks for a new password. The password is same as the old one, so it doesn't accept it. Type passwords till it is completely satisfied with your password. So, we have exhausted the number of retries. So we have to sudo it again. We get the authentication token manipulation error. So let's open a new terminal. Use CHH to set a 5 day waiting period for changing passwords, a password expiration period of 90 days, an inactivity period of 2 days, and a warning period of 5 days. All this can be seen in the command entered here. Keep this account because you'll be using it for the lab in the next section. So in this video, we learnt how to set and enforce password and account expiration. In the next video, we will prevent brute-forced password attacks. <laughs>